I happen to have this older Panasonic standard definition camcorder which came with a high capacity battery that I wanted to use with the V110 because the one that this one comes with is pretty much useless, barely even lasts half an hour. And I discovered that while the small one fits fine on this camcorder, the high capacity battery that this one came with, even though it has the same pinout and voltages and everything, would not fit on this camcorder. And there's a reason for that. It's because there is this tab in the middle of the right side as you have this label facing up. You see this low capacity one does not have a tab in the middle. And you can see this one had a tab until I broke it off and then filed down the edge. And that's the trick you can do to get one of these high capacity batteries to work with the V110. So instead of needing to buy one of the new model of Panasonic batteries in case you have an older camcorder with a battery that should be compatible, all you have to do is break off that tab. This happens to be a VW VBK 180 rated at 3.6 volts 1790 milliamp hours while the one that this one came with is only 970 milliamp hours so pretty much double the capacity so it should last about twice as long so that's the trick you can do to use one of these batteries with this camcorder so now with that tab broken off it's a little bit rough going on because of the residue of that tab but with a little bit of extra force you can get it to fit right on there and there it goes it's clicked in we hit the power button and the camcorder powers up. It's also useful keeping one of these older models on hand because they have the DC 5 volt input for charging whereas this one can only charge through USB because there is no DC input on it which unfortunately also means it cannot run on AC power when it's recording because the USB will only charge the battery it will not power the camcorder so you're limited to battery life when using this camcorder. So if you want to record a long video, you have to stop recording when the battery runs out and then either wait to recharge the battery or if you happen to have another battery, you can swap it. But uh, that really limits the ability of one of these to record long videos. Well, it turns out the same thing applies to the low capacity batteries as well. Because I just got this Panasonic HCV10. The HCV10 will be the subject of a future review video, but in case you're wondering why I got it when I already have a technically much better camcorder, the reason is because this is a 720p camcorder, which is a much easier format for me to edit than the 1080i interlace video, which the V110 records. And also this one has optical image stabilization while the V110 only has electronic image stabilization which does not work very well. It's a 2012 model and it came with this little battery which is the same voltage and size as the one that the V110 came with. But if you look at it, it has that extra tab in the middle just like the high capacity one did. So in order to get this one to work and the V110 I would also need to break off this tab on the right. So it was quite clearly a deliberate change in the batteries to force you to buy new batteries with the new model of camcorder. And the printer companies do the same exact thing like Hewlett Packard. With every new model they make a trivial change in the toner cartridges to force you to buy new ones because they either add a tab or remove a tab which makes the older ones unusable unless you modify them. So, a lot of companies are doing this and thankfully, in this case, it's pretty easy. You just break off this tab and then the battery will work fine. And the same thing is true of aftermarket batteries. The only high capacity ones I can find are the ones with that extra tab in the middle, which you will need to break off in order to use them with the V110. There are some aftermarket batteries which are listed as working with the V110 and which do not have that extra tab in the middle but those are only the low capacity batteries which won't be any better than the one that the V110 comes with. So if you want to get a high capacity battery without spending Panasonic's high price for one that officially works with the V110 you'll have to buy one of these aftermarket batteries or one of the older Panasonic batteries and then break off that tab in the middle.